Hey everybody, this is Edward again, and there is Cicero. Say hi, Cicero. Argento's in the background. He's coming up. Hey, buddy. Finally got the algae under control. I already gave you blood worms. They know when they go up there, they get blood worms. And just move things around. Cleaned like you would not believe. There's still a tint of green but it was really bad i mean you can look at earlier videos and i finally cleaned it up the nice thing about it is i went and i picked up the tetra algae control and literally i just added this and you take off the um the filters that way it can suck up all the bad stuff and it drains everything you have to stop your filters for five to six hours the algae is all dead and then you just suck it all up and clean it i took um, a big net and went through and cleaned up all the heavy stuff added some more plants up there because i used to have the tree up high enough to where they could get out and get some air so i added some plants because it's mandatory otherwise the turtles can drown and of course we don't want that to happen Stop kicking each other like brothers and sisters just sit there and slap each other. But my eel's still scared. He's hiding out as well as my two plecos. But everything's going well. And the, I'm just happy that the tank's sparkling again. Because it took me a while. And I am going to get an underground filter with a skimmer. Um, I honestly want to know what your guys' opinions are on underground filters, whether you have one or you're like me thinking about them, because I'm already running two of the BioWheel 200s, which even one of them is good for 50 gallons, but I want to rotate 400 gallons an hour, that way my water's clear. Um, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the uh, underground filters. And most of all, take care of your little guys because they're really pretty. All right, take care everybody. Later.